What's going on guys? T-Mart here and today we are going to be going through all the score streaks that we know so far in Black Ops 3. So you guys know I was able to play the game this past week at E3. I probably had like four or five hours of hands-on time and I really got to dive pretty deep into the multiplayer and I've earned almost all of these score streaks or at least seen them in action. So I wanted to go through and show you guys you know, what they are, what they do, explain them to you all, tell you guys how much score you need to earn them, stuff like that. And it should be pretty cool. This is something you guys have been requesting down in the comments, so I want to make sure I did it for you all. So if you guys are excited, hit that thumbs up button. And without further ado, let's get started. Now, one thing I do want to note is, number one, these score values could change. Obviously, this is an early version of the game, so the score values it takes to be able to earn these things could be maneuvered around. They could be, you know, changed in their order and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. And then also, number two, is these are only 12 of the 18 score streaks available. There are still six of them that are hidden that we don't know about yet which is, uh, is kind of exciting. I don't know what they're going to be. We might do another video to try to figure that out later. But uh, anyway, so uh, starting off, the lowest score streak currently in the game is the UAV. It's an unmanned aerial vehicle that reveals enemy locations on the minimap. You earn it at 400 score, and it flies around the map really high up. You guys know UAVs. We've had them in Call of Duty ever since the, the very beginning, so uh, that shouldn't be a surprise there. Now, uh, next up, the second score streak we have here is the HCXD. And you guys know right away, this is kind of like an advanced version of the RCXD. So you earn this thing at 425 score, and this is a remote-controlled, hover-capable explosive device that can perform a thrust-powered jump and drive on vertical surfaces. So uh, rather than being a little RC car that you can drive around the map, this is a little, like, hovercraft car that you drive around the map. And rather than only being able to blow people up and, you know, kind of going upstairs to be able to get to second levels and stuff like that, you can actually use it to jump in the air and drive vertically on walls and drive up and down on walls and go in windows and stuff, which is, uh, is really, really cool. So uh, that thing is a lot of fun. Now, uh, next up, we have the Dart. This is at 525 score, and it's described as pilot and anti-personnel drone that's equipped with missiles capable of locking on enemies and score streaks. It can also dive bomb for an explosive blast. So I was able to use this thing once. I got it out of a care package. And if you guys remember, I don't remember which 007 game it was. I think it might have been Goldeneye, but if you had the rocket and you shot the rocket, you were able to control that rocket and like move it around the map to be able to hit enemies. That's pretty much what this is. When you call it in, you go up in this drone. It's super fast. You're like flying around the map. It's hard to control stuff like that. You can shoot rockets at enemies and score streaks and stuff. And then at the end, once you're out of rockets, you can dive bomb down and blow up on people to, uh, to take them out. So that thing is pretty cool. Now, Next up, we have the care package. This thing is earned at 550 score, and you guys know what the care package is. It says airdrop a random score streak. It's uh, it's actually kind of like an old school care package. Like it's actually a box that gets dropped down to the ground from a helicopter. It's not like an advanced warfare where it's shot down from the sky. And actually takes a decent amount of time, so you gotta be careful on when you call these things in. You don't want those things to be stolen. Now, uh, next up, we have the counter UAV. So this thing is earned at 600 score, and it jams the enemy reconnaissance by temporarily disabling the enemy minimap. We guys like we know what the counter UAV is we've seen that a lot before now what uh, the deal is the counter UAV is actually placed on the ground like I said earlier the UAV is the one that flies up in the air the counter UAV is actually placed on the ground so there's a little bit easier to hide it's gonna be a little bit more tough for the enemies to take them out so you got to keep that in mind now Next up, we have the Lightning Strike, everybody's favorite. We all know the Lightning Strike. We all love the Lightning Strike. It's the same thing again this year. You call it in, you get that like, you know, half a second of the, the UAV so you can see where the enemies are. You choose three locations on the map, planes fly in, drop bombs. It's really, really good. It's earned at 750 score. So uh, there you guys have it. Now, uh, next up, we have the Talon. This one's kind of interesting. So it says, a uh, call in an autonomous or remote controlled escort attack drone. So this is kind of like a, uh, a, a bi-rotor drone that comes in and it'll either you know kind of fly around and take people out on its own or you can control it yourself and take people out by yourself which is uh, it's kind of cool that you have the option there uh, this one's earned at 975 score next up we have the Cerberus or Cerebrus I'm not sure how to pronounce it it's earned at a thousand score and it's pretty much the AGR from Black Ops 2 airdrop an autonomous or remote controlled Cerebrus ground robot that patrols for enemy targets it's kind of like a, a little you know personal tank type thing, which is kind of cool. Uh, next up, we have the Wraith at 1100 score. This is described as an aerial attack craft with advanced stealth capabilities and a defensive flak drone. This is the stealth chopper. It's literally the exact same thing. Like it, it acts the same way. You call it in the same way. It moves around the map the same way. It actually might last a little bit longer than stealth chopper. Like I, I called these things in a couple of times and it seems like they were on the map for way too long or, or not way too long, but just like a, a long time. It was a good amount which is kind of cool, 
But uh, yeah, it, it's pretty much a stealth chopper. It even sounds the same, which I like because I absolutely love the stealth chopper. Now, uh, next up, we have Raps, R-A-P-S on capitals with like the dots in between. Uh, 1,275 score to earn this. Deploy a ship that drops autonomous robotic anti-personnel sentry drones. So these are the things we've seen in some of the trailers and stuff. They're like those ball things that have the spikes on them that will like run around the map really, really quick. It's kind of like this game's a version of dogs. It's super, super scary, super intense and they're very very good we got two left guys all right next up we have the combat robots this says a heavily armored general infantry unit robot can be set to guard mode to protect the owner or set to patrol mode to defend a designated location so this is kind of cool actually I use this in CTF when you get it you can choose if you want it to follow you around and help you fight enemies which is okay I guess it's not really the greatest though or you can have it so that it actually sits there and kind of like walks back and forth and patrols an area. And I did that on our flag. So I literally had a, a, a personal robot guarding our flag so our team could go out and try to get the enemy team's flag, which was kind of cool. So uh, it's pretty useful in that regard. And you earn that thing at 1400 score. And then finally, last but not least, we have the Mothership, the highest score streak in the game. Vaughn's actually said that this is the highest score streak. There's not gonna be anything higher than this. You earn it at 1500 score and it says powerful VTOL weapon platform with a primary turret for the owner and two secondary turrets for teammates so basically this is an enormous ship that comes in onto the map the owner gets a machine gun as well as rockets to be able to shoot down two of his teammates can hold the X or square button to go up into the warship and then they get two uh, they each get a, a um, kind of like an MG as well and it just it absolutely desecrates the enemies it's super hard to take down has a lot of health and it's just, it, it, the firepower is absolutely insane. It kind of reminds you of like what you used to do to people with the chopper gunner back in Modern Warfare 2 and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Those are all the score streaks in Black Ops 3 that we know about so far. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know which score streak you guys are looking forward most to using. Leave comments down below. Let me know which one, you know, kind of excites the most. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out these two videos if you've seen yet. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.